This video is made possible thanks to our sponsor Loot Crate. If you haven't heard of Loot Crate, it's basically a service where every month they send you an assortment of unique toys and collectibles, usually centered around the theme of technology, gaming, and general geek culture. If you want to support our show and make videos like this possible, go to lootcrate.com slash mwtech and enter mwtech on the coupon code to get an awesome discount. By doing this, not only are you helping us out greatly, but you're making videos like this possible. Hey, what's up everyone? How's it going? This is Watch, and in this video we'll be doing a direct head-to-head -head comparison between two standalone UHD monitors from Dell. We're specifically looking at the UP2715K, this is a 5K monitor, and the Dell P2715. 15Q, which is a 4K 27 inch monitor. Both monitors are very similar. They're both IPS, really great overall panels. And obviously the main distinction between these two monitors is going to be that resolution. So here we're gonna find out what the difference is between the 5K and the 4K standard and see if uh, this 5K is really worth three times the asking price of the 4K Dell monitor. Now physically the UP2415K and the P2715Q are very similar in terms of overall design philosophy and footprint since they're basically coming from uh, the same factory. They're both of course 27 inches in size and they have a very similar thickness in terms of bezel but there is a difference between the face of the 5K. It has an edged edge glass display which definitely can cause a little bit of glare issues compared to the matte plastic display that's in the 4K Dell monitor. Now physical parameters are fairly similar for both monitors in terms of height, width, and depth. There is a difference in terms of weight, however. The 5K does weigh about 5 pounds more than the 4K monitor, but of course that's not really a major concern for pretty much anybody out there. Luckily, they both have the exact same stand configuration, which is a very versatile stand. It has uh, plenty of uh, tilt adjustments, height adjustments, and a decent amount of rotation as well. You can uh, position the monitor in portrait or landscape mode, and they both have a 100 mm meter vase mount connection so you can ditch the stand altogether and mount it on your wall or on your own custom multi-monitor desk stand and have like a three-way epic setup of 4k and 5k monitors if you're crazy and have enough money to do so now i generally don't like to talk about cost because cost is different depending upon where you are in the world and shipping always fluctuates but in the u.s uh, currently at this making of this video the 4k monitor the p2715q from dell it retails for about 600 dollars on Amazon and right now the Dell uh, 5k uh, originally MSRP was around 2500 but it just went down to around two thousand dollars and I'm sure it'll go down even more and uh, throughout the year as these monitors age will probably go down even more but that being said there's still a pretty big difference in terms of price tag pretty much the 5k is at least two to three times more expensive than the p2715q and most likely a big factor of that cost is how expensive 5k panels are to produce if you take a look look at the market right now there's not a lot of 5k panels being uh, made and I'm sure uh, factory supplies are fairly in high demand so right now the operation costs and manufacturing costs of making a 5k monitor is going to be expensive and of course development cost is going to be always a factor when you're buying first generation products so I'm sure those factors and many others are being compensated uh, for that high price tag but that being said of course there is that 5k iMac which comes with a free computer and a 5k display for around the same price as the standalone Dell monitor but uh, as the results have shown from our comparison the uh, 5k Dell monitor is more color accurate and it's designed for uh, professionals and content creators who might uh, find it easier to justify that kind of high price tag now in terms of the exact resolution differences we have a 3840 by 2160 resolution on the p2715q and the exact resolution of the 5k monitor is 5120 by 2880 now since they're both 27 inches we can actually get a fairly representative pixel per inch count on each monitor basically on the 5k we get a score about 217.57 ppi and the 4k gets about 163.18 ppi so in terms of the raw numbers theoretically we should see a clearer picture on the 5k display versus the 4k but in reality when you take a look at an image on the 5k display side by side in the 4k display unless you have a magnifying glass you're not going to see a big major difference between the two now, in terms of videos, there's not really any 5K content to view in the first place because the fact there is very limited 4K content in the first place. But in terms of photos, most cameras have over
over 14.7 uh, megapixels so you can kind of see a difference between these two especially when it comes to the overall resolution where you can definitely see a more information on the 5k display than uh, what we see on the 4k display because we have basically more screen real estate and the same thing goes for productivity since you have more pixels to play with you're going to have uh, more options to basically move around different windows and you can fit more on the 5k display than the 4k display but again coming back to the whole clarity factor the only major difference i saw was when you're viewing text and uh, certainly when you're closer up and reading fine text you can see that the 5k is just a hint sharper than the 4k but again you have to be pretty close up and if you're a mere mortal like me you're probably going to be viewing these 27 inch monitors at least two to three feet away from your eyes and at that distance again the difference between 5k and 4k when you're viewing uh, just regular content is very negligible now before we get into the other half of this comparison i'd like to take the time to thank our sponsor loot crate for making this video possible if you don't know what loot crate is it's basically a service where every month you receive an assortment of unique toys and collectibles that are centered around a particular type of theme based on technology gaming and general geek culture this month's crate is dedicated to all the fun and fantastic games that we love to play from tabletop to video board games card games rpgs desk toys and much more here's how it works loot crate sends you every month a crate that's worth over 40 dollars for only 13.95 plus shipping and handling if you sign up for multiple months they cut you out an even better deal which is pretty awesome and if you want to try this out go to lootcrate.com slash mw tech and make sure to enter mw tech as a coupon code to get an added discount and by doing that not only are you helping us out greatly but you're also making videos like this possible now let's talk about the panel itself. Uh, both of these have IPS technology, so they're very good in terms of overall viewing angles, no color shifts in terms of left, right, extreme viewing angles up to 178 degrees, and very minimal uh, brightness and color shifts when you're viewing it from extreme uh, vertical positions. Now in terms of the panel quality when it comes to brightness and the black levels, what we're gonna do is determine the, the true typical contrast ratio of both of these monitors and see how bright they can go versus how dark they can go. So in terms of maximum brightness on the 5k at completely torch settings maximum brightness we got a uh, light reading about 345 cdm squared on the center portion of the monitor versus 321 cdm squared on the 4k display now in terms of the deviations of brightness throughout uh, the different regions in the panel we have a lower amount of deviations uh, on the 5k compared to the 4k of minus 40 versus minus 55 what that means is that the 5k has a better more evenly lit backlight with less fluctuations and brightness throughout the panel. Secondly, when it comes to the deepest, darkest black levels that both monitors can produce, we get a little bit more deeper blacks on the 5K display, about 0.38 CDM squared versus about 0.43 CDM squared. And uh, that just means that we have a little bit darker blacks on the 5K versus the 4K. And uh, when we basically calculate our true contrast ratio, we get about 907 to 1 on the 5K versus about 7 746 to 1 on the 4k display now keep in mind when you're actually calibrating the monitor and using it for your specific applications and for everyday use you're probably going to lower down the brightness so therefore in terms of dynamic range when it comes to contrast won't be as high as uh, the scores that we've demonstrated because everyone's results will be different depending upon how they're going to set it up and calibrate the monitor for everyday use now, in terms of the color gamut when it comes to srgb and adobe rgb color space we do find a wider gamut range on uh, the 5k versus the 4 4K of about 103.1 of the sRGB color spectrum when calibrated properly and about 100% of the Adobe RGB color space versus about 100% on the sRGB side on the 4K display and about 79% of Adobe RGB even when calibrated. So you can definitely see in terms of wide color reproduction capabilities, we do have a wider gamut and capabilities on the 5K display. Now in terms of color accuracy, when you're looking at the average Delta E score or the average kind of color accuracy rating on the srgb side we do get a uh, better rating on the 5k again about 1.441 calibrator versus about 1.75 of the srgb delta e rating in terms of average uh, scores now zero is perfect and anything less than one is unperceivable to the eye and uh, we're definitely getting to that kind of imperceivable mark on uh, the 5k monitor and uh, even though the 4k monitor is certainly passable for most uh, prosumers and content creators 
years for people who want the best looks like uh, the 5k can really deliver the performance of a reference grade panel now, in terms of the white point rating uh, both monitors are very similar since they're probably using the same components in terms of the led backlight technology they're both around the 6500 kelvin rating which is what you want your white point to be set at in the first place so definitely nice to see there and continuing forward one of the other things that makes these two monitors different is how they deliver the ultra hd uh, resolution from your computer to the display itself and that's the fact that the 4k is a single stream transport system so it only uses one cable to basically deliver the 4k resolution at 60 hertz refresh rate whether that be a mini display port thunderbolt connection or full-size display port 1.2 connection versus the 5k requires a multi-stream transport system to deliver that 5k resolution so that means you're going to at least need two display port connections in order to achieve uh, the full 5120 by 2880 resolution at 60 hertz refresh rate that means you're going to need a graphics card that has two display port connections or more and that's going to be quite limiting for a lot of people that don't have a graphics card that has multiple display port outputs and uh, when it comes to the 4k you can easily plug it in to any graphics card that has a, a single display port 1.2 connection which is a lot of cards that are available making it a lot more approachable and a lot more practical for a larger mainstream audience the other kind of highlights I like about the 4K is that it has a daisy chaining capability so you can easily hook up another 4K monitor because it has another DisplayPort out connection versus there is no room for any uh, daisy chaining on the 5K monitor and we also have an HDMI 1.4 connection on the 4K which does the full K resolution but only at 30 hertz refresh rate. Now in terms of gaming, if you haven't checked out my 5K gaming video, definitely do so. It uh, kind of demonstrates the performance you get from a single graphics card configuration, even at a higher end, uh, such as the GTX 980, to play uh, basically 5K games. In terms of the input lag between these two, we do have a faster response time on the 4K of 6 milliseconds versus about 8 milliseconds on the 5K. And in most regards, both of them are not really gaming geared monitors. You do have to go to another uh, QHD resolution to get uh, a monitor that has a better and faster response time but uh, definitely you can game on both of these monitors without any major issues it's certainly going to be a problem in terms of driving that amount of pixels so you're definitely going to need a very very intense gaming rig with multiple gpu configurations especially if you want to get playable frame rates at uh, ultra hd resolutions but on that guys that's really it if you have any specific questions about anything i talked about please make sure to leave that on a comment down below but i would definitely love to hear your guys' thoughts about the whole video uh, definitely let me know if you guys think that the 5k is worth it at this point would you even go for a 4k love to hear all your thoughts and opinions thank you so much for watching make sure to give us a thumbs up if you like the video and we'll see you later take care this video was made possible thanks to loot crate if you're interested in loot crate go to lootcrate.com slash mw tech and enter mw tech in the coupon code and if you do that not only will you get an awesome discount but you're helping us greatly to support the channel and to make videos like this possible